I think the core issue for every human being that has ever existed, ever will, is identity. Great pleasure to introduce Dennis Jernigan. Most of you probably know of him if you don't know him already. One Sunday morning here in the, at this church, the men were standing there talking about what they thought of homosexuals. And it was terrible the way they talked about guys like me. Homosexuals are going straight to hell. That's what I thought as a kid. So I remember feeling hopeless. I'd spend hours, always two to three hours a day at the piano. It was a refuge for me. I didn't know he would be as successful as he is, but I always knew how good he was. Is it cool to have so many people singing your songs, wanting to it's, sing your songs? It's overwhelming, it's, it's humbling, it is totally cool. <laughs> God's given Dennis a, a special gift. Some of his songs now are, are printed in hymnals that are used in churches around the world. His music goes places that nobody else's does. My home, soul, and my own heart. I've only ever heard condemnation from the pulpit. People have been like, homosexuality is an abomination, but not saying that you can be set free. I've been going to man to find out what a man is supposed to be. When I, I needed to be going to my Creator all along for my true identity, after all, it's He who made me. Stands to reason He should be the one telling me who I am. Some people might not like it, but He's chosen to share a message that with God nothing is impossible, that God has the ability to change and transform. I remember hoping somebody would tell me freedom was possible, so that's why I let my life be what it is. I get this, I've gotten this several times, you're doing more damage than good by telling somebody they don't have to be homosexual. I'm not telling anybody they have to do anything. I'm just telling them God loves them. And here's how God loved me. This is what I was struggling with. This is my story. But this is what my God did.